All right, this hair that I'm working with, trying something new, I haven't done this before. I'm using a uh, soft dread today, and the color is um, 27613. And this is just some hair I had in my arsenal. And you guys should be pretty familiar with what the hair looks like. This is the hair, and then I break it down into four. And then I break those four down into eight. And this is what they look like up here. And then what I'm doing is putting them, I took a string and put this string around my chair, about four or five deep, tied it. Then I put a slip knot, the hair on here, and then I just two strand twist it. When I get down to the bottom, I just knot it. So right here is 49 twist and that took me one hour some of them i've done shorter twists down i'll use those on the back or the front and then the rest i've gone down about 30 35 twists each some a little longer so i'm going to do up the whole pack of this and then once i get ready to install it i'm going to try to latch hook it and install it with latch hooking that's just my thought so I'll come back in a little bit when I'm going to uh, show you how I All right, I'm going to show you again. So I'm going to put the hair up under my string and I'm going to loop it through. And so I have two of them on here, looped through already. And then I just two strand twist it. And I don't really two strand twist it too tight, real tight. just want that soft two strand twist look. Like I said, you can go down as far as you like. Because this hair is so curly, I want to get, have use some of the curls for fullness. So I don't have to put more than two packs into my hair. Uh, now, here's the two strands. So I wrap it around my, I split it with my two fingers. Take this one and wrap it around my finger. Come around the back, pull it around, and pull it through and tighten it. Now that's pretty tight for me. And move it over. And go to the next one. And then we can get a couple on there ready for you. Now, you, like I said, if you got some different hair and you can split it three times and braid it, then go for the braid. Now, if I did the braid, I think I would just braid, go down about that far there, and then hit it with some glue and keep on, you know, moving, be a little faster. But this particular hair that I just happen to have on board, uh, my uh, cousin gifted me some hair. You'll see in my, I've used this hair several times in some of my videos. It's called a uh, soft dread. Show you at the beginning of the. So like I said, my thought will be, um, after I get them all done, I'm going to leave them on this string. I'll just slip the string off over top of the chair. And I'm going to boil some water. And I'm going to just take the top part. So I don't want to mess with my hair down here at the bottom. And I'm just going to dip with the string and all. Dip it in the water. And I'll try to show you that part. Alright, so I'm going to get all this hair. I just have for my whole one pack this. Plus, I'm sorry, this. Plus a little bit left here. That's one whole pack. So I'll have the whole one pack. And then I'll move on to the second pack. And I'll come back. All right, I'd say probably about three hours and 15 minutes later. That's one whole pack broke down and two strand twist. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to need another pack. So I'm going to work on another pack. So that'll be six hours. And then I have to corn roll my hair. And that's about an hour or so. And then put it in as another hour or two. So I'm looking at six hours just for the do the hair. This is not braiding, you guys. This is two strand twisting. So you make the decision what you want to do. Now the best part of this is that you're gonna get that look of the small, small braids and not have the hassle of taking them down. When you're ready to take this out of the hair, all you're going to do is cut. Once you cut, 
that'll come out and we'll work on that part later so this is one whole pack and uh, I'll be back once I have my other pack done and we'll get to the dipping part I forgot to tell you that there was two 136 that I broke down so this right there 136 two strand twist okay this is the second pack I haven't twisted it yet but what I did differently was I put it on here just slipped slipped it on slip knot it on and then what I'm gonna do tomorrow since it's pretty late now like two o'clock in the morning I'm going and then twist it back now what I did learn from this is this is what I lost in one pack and that's about the same amount I lost in the second pack because when you break it down each section is four in each section and you break it down to four you don't have any hair lossage but by breaking it down into eight then you have some snags and stuff so I'll work with some of this and you know make a couple of more strands and throw the rest away but I don't like to throw any hair away when I'm doing my hair so that's two packs. I see I can turn it around on the other side and put it some over there. And then one thing I forgot, I can actually not take this up and over because it's too wide of chair. So I'm going to have to cut it when I get ready to take it off. I can push it all the way down, but that doesn't do anything for me. So tomorrow I'll finish doing this in the morning. And then I'm still looking at it. I don't know if I have enough hair. I may go downstairs and see if I can find some more hair. Do a little bit more. All right, so we'll be back in a little bit. All right, here's my pot of water. Here's the hair soaking wet after I just dipped it. What I did was just pulled it all together and held it and just dipped it down in the water a couple of times. Forgot to show you that part, so I just remember it. I had my gloves on too. But here's the string that all my hair was fed on and then I this is my thought I don't know if this is going to work or not but this is what I did and here's all the hair on my um, on my string that was on the on my chair so my thought was by dipping it I was going to seal in my twist and then when I cut this and just slide it off, when I get ready to put it in my hair, I'll just do the latch hook method. I'll just stick it on my hook, put it through, and latch, pull the hair through. So when I get ready to do that, I'll show you. But uh, I forgot to set up my camera after I had dipped it. And I don't want to dip it anymore. I did about 15 seconds. Uh, I'm not trying to melt the hair, and I didn't touch any of the bottom down here. All right, so it looks good. Looks good, and it's dry already, pretty much. The only part to damp is up here around the string where I had the string at. All right, I'll be back. Well, this is seven months later since I two strand twisted these, and I'm now finally deciding to go ahead and put them in my hair. So I just remembered, oh, I need to video this. So let me show you. I started already. And um, this side is braided like this. So this side is braided the same way. And I've just actually latched down the rows right now. And then I'm going back. I've got a couple spots in here that I've missed. It's not, the lighting's not the best here in my basement. So i got to go in and fill those, fill that in. And then I send a couple back here. I'm going to fill in right here. And then when I come back, I'm going to show you as I start latching on here what I'm doing. And then I'll go a little further into it after I get more done. Now my back is just basically, hope you can see it in round. And normally you don't have to do your backs because... All this hair falls down over top of this here. But I always do one single here 
But if I want to pull my hair up in a ponytail, this would look so bad. My hair is fairly thin. So I'm kind of liking it so far. This hair that I'm using is, let me see. It's soft drip. This is the exact color. And I didn't twist all of them because I didn't know how much I wanted to put around my edges. And so I have some little spots right here. And I'll probably fill those in once everything is done so I can see. And I'll just two strand twist them right onto my hair. These were all, but this was the hair that I used to pre prep. All right, so I'll be back in a little bit when I get ready to start up here. This is one. And I just find a loop and put my hook through it. Let me find a spot. Here's a spot. This out the way. I'm just doing a regular latch hook. I go up underneath the braid, wrap it around, pull it through, wrap it around, and pull the whole braid through. And this might be a little tight. Hard to do it yourself, but you can. It can be done. All right, I latch up and under the braid, put the hair around, close the loop, pull it through, get it again. I'm just gonna do it two times. Latch two times and then pull it through, and then tighten it so I don't have any worried about any of it coming loose. Yeah. Do one more. Let's squeeze one more in there. I tried one on the floor. So here they are. And I'm just sticking my hook through it because it was already pre two two strand twist. And any of those extra fuzz or that I have on here, I'll just cut it off. This has been sitting for six months. I didn't know it had been that long. Seven months. March something. I did this. Finished this. It took me three days. But you see all that. I've told you all that information. All right, so I'm going to go in there one more time. Wrap it around, pull it through. Wrap it around, and pull it all the way through. Now, sometimes when I pull these through, there's a, um, a knot at the end of the braid, so it gets a little stuck right there. See, at the end, I knotted this. Got a little knot. So I didn't want to two strand twist all the way down. Okay. So that's two of them. And then maybe, like I said, when I get up here, I'll do a whole row. I'll just see how I did it. It's coming together. I'm liking it. Just to think I went and paid to get little skinny braids done. So here's a gap in here. So in that gap area... I'm going to fill in some hair. And I have the hair laying down over here on the string that you actually, let me pick it up so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah. And I'm just sliding it off as we go. That's just a pack and a half of that hair I just showed you. And I two strand twisted, it was 200 and something, I mean, if I remember. Maybe I told you earlier in the video. Getting ready to do a little bit more. I got all this done. This is called big hair. My granddaughter was over and helped latch hook some of my back. And I've run out of hair. Run out of hair, so now I have to get I had to make up some more pieces to fit right in here. But a lot of people complimented me 
tonight when I went to the casino. <laughs> Said they liked it like that, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. The celery.